Welcome to this tutorial on how to integrate Flutterflow with Google Firebase. In this video, I will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of connecting your app with Firebase so you can create a dynamic app that can store and retrieve data from the cloud. We will cover everything you need to know, from setting up a Firebase project to configuring your Flutterflow app with the correct API keys. By the end of this tutorial, you have connected your app with Firebase. So first step is that we create a new project. Let's name this project as a Firebase tutorial, then press Create New. Now this kind of window pops up. If you have project already existing you can also connect your app to Firebase from Settings, but for now we click on Next Step. Here we need to add our Firebase project ID, so in order to proceed from here, we need to go to Firebase and create our first project. So head out to Google Firebase simply just by typing into your search bar, console.firebase.google.com. From this screen, first what you have to do, is click Create a Project. Now, enter here your project name. I'm going to type here Firebase Tutorial. Now you get to decide whether you want to have Google Analytics for your app. This collects all kinds of data, for example how your users is using your app, or if your app crashes where the issue might be. I personally recommend you to use it because I can't see any downside from enabling this, but for this project I'm going to disable this because it will make this tutorial a lot quicker. After your loading is finished you should see something like this. You can see from the left side some of Firebase's functions, for example authentication and Firestore database, but we get to them later. For now, we need to give Flutterflow access to our Firebase, and in order to do that, we need to click this gear icon and select Users and Permissions. Now you need to click Add a Member, and type down Firebase at Flutterflow.io, and at the role, we need to select Editor. After that is done, we need to give Flutterflow access to couple more things. First we need to open Advanced Permission Settings. You should be located to Google Cloud Console. Now we need to pick the Firebase Flutterflow section that we just created, and click this pencil from the right and add two other roles. First role is Cloud Functions Admin. Second role is Service Account User. After you have picked those two, click Save. That's all we have to do from Google Cloud Console, so you are free to exit from that site and head back to Firebase Console. Next thing is, we have to add the Firebase database. So in order to do that, click here. So let's create a database, and now you got two options. Here is production mode and test mode. Here we are going to pick test mode. Remember before you launch your app, you're going to want to update your security rules, but this allows us to get working faster. Next we are choosing the Firestore location. I recommend you to pick the closest location where most of your users are. For this project, I'm going to pick this one.
Databases allows us to store and get data from your app, for example, if your app has pictures, you can save them here. Now when that's done, we are almost finished. We still need the project ID what Flutterflow asked, and we find our project ID by clicking the gear icon and selecting project settings. In here we can see our project ID, so we are going to copy it, and go back to our app. Let's paste our project ID in here, and then click connect. Now we got our green check mark that it is connected, after that, we click on this auto generate config files. Now Firebase is set up, in here we have two things that we can pick, we can firstly enable Google authentication, if we want our users to log in, and we can also create users collection. This will automatically create users folder to our database, where users information will be stored. Now we are all set up, in case you want to check out your Firebase connection or regenerate config files, you can click here, and then go to Firebase section where we can see the connection. Congratulations, you have successfully learned how to connect Flutterflow with Firebase database. With this powerful combination, you can create dynamic and responsive applications that can store and retrieve data seamlessly. We hope that this tutorial has been helpful to you and that you have learned something new today. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tutorials like this. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We'll do our best to help you out. Thank you for watching.